I decided to go back and focus on my jiu-jitsu again. As I was a brown belt at the time, I said, I want to become a black belt under Master Carlos. So he opened a school in Lake Forest, and I started training over there every day. And then in 2006, I got my black belt. And he come with the idea to open your own jiu-jitsu school because you, you're good, you've been working as a bouncer, all these jobs, so you should believe in yourself. And then I opened a school in Santa Ana. Santa Ana, California? And, yes. Yeah. And then I was training a lot. Then I met a lot of uh, MMA guys like Baba Luto Brau, uh, Mark Munoz, a lot of guys that was coming to California because California became the mecca of MMA, Jiu-Jitsu. Yep. And I was fortunate enough to meet a lot of people. Then I did some professional MMA fights, you know, but get to a point that UFC, even the other MMAs was never something very rewardable financially. Yeah. Even, you know, even today is not that much. I was about to say, even today, it's, it's, it's not as probably as much as it should be. Yeah, but today, but... you know, you make enough to leave, at least leave a couple of months before, sure. like I fight. At that time, one of the big show that they have compared to the UFC, usually people that do well, like Diego Sanchez, a bunch of other guys, yeah. they fight the king of the cage. That was the tournament yeah. Yeah. at the time. Yeah. So I fight with $450. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't even pay your rent. You know? yeah. <laughs> so the focus of fighting MMA for me was dying because I say I can't. I have to have a job training. I'm not going to be as good as I want to be if I yeah. do this. Yeah. And like I say, sometimes I look back and I regret because I couldn't be focused and fight MMA, maybe make to the UFC. But sometimes I look people that make the UFC and I look at today, they are a hundred steps behind me, you know? Yeah. So yeah. sometimes in life you have to make a choice. So that's the choice that I make. 